Hi, Mr. Hammer here for section 10.6. We're doing 3 to 6 or 3 to 5, so this is 10.6. We're talking about evaluating or answering algebraic expressions here. So, Schenker has 45 CDs, so that's a good place to start. 45. He gives 10 CDs to his brother, so giving is subtracting, right? So, minus 10. Um, write an equation you can solve to find how many CDs Schenker has left. So 45 minus 10 equals X. X would be the number of CDs. So X equals number of CDs left. Right? You've always got to actually have a variable here. This is called your variable, just as a reminder. This is the letter that represents some kind of thing. In this case, the number of CDs left, and it can change. Right? How could this number change? Well, it would depend on how many CDs he gave away. If he only gave away 5, it would change. So 45 minus 10 equals x. Well, 45 minus 10 equals 35. So Schenker has 35 CDs left. So if you were to properly write the answer down, you would write Schenker has 35 CDs left. Who has CDs anymore anyway? We don't even own CDs. Number four, solve by inspection. Inspection just means looking. So some number x plus 4 equals 15. So x equals 11, because 11 plus 4 equals 15. Easy. 2 times some number minus 13 equals 3. OK, this gets a little tricky. So we need to know, first of all, what number in total minus 13 gives us 3. Well, I know 23 minus 13. No, that's going to give us 10. I'm not doing this right. I know that 16 minus 13 gives me 3. OK, that's my first step. So that means 2k, 2 times a number, has to equal to 16. So 2 times some number equals 16. Well, I know that 2 times 8 equals 16, so k has to equal 8. The nice thing about when you do this is that you can test this out to see if you are correct. You do something called the left side, right side test. So left side and right side. You can always check to see if you are correct here. On the left side, on the right side, we have 3. So we write down 3. On the left side, we have 2k minus 13. Then I'm going to substitute k for 8. So I'm going to write 2 times 8 minus 13, which is equal to 16 minus 13, which is equal to 3. As long as my left side and my right side match up, my original answer is correct. Let's go on to 4C. 3 times y equals 24. So 3 times some number equals 24. Well, 3 times 1 is 3. That doesn't work. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 8 works. So y equals 8. Very good. Next, D. Z over 9. So some number, in this case represented by z, divided by 9 equals 2. So what number divided by 9 will give us 2? Well, 9 divided by 9 gives us 1. So 18 divided by 9 will give us 2. So z equals 18. That's solving by inspection, just by looking at the question. The next way to solve is by systematic trial. And I know there are other ways you can solve these, but these are the two ways we're going to do in this class. Systematic trial means to try. So n plus 5 is 33. So let's try 10. 10 plus 5 gives us 15. Nowhere near. Let's try 20 as n. 20 plus 5 equals 25. We're still nowhere near. Let's try 30. If n was 30, 30 plus 5 equals 35. Ah, we're close. We are two numbers too high. So we have to drop n by 2. Let's try 28. 28 plus 5 equals 33. This works, so therefore n equals 28. This is systematic trial. A trial Basically, the word try is inside there. Inside the word trial, the word try is there. Each of these is a trial, right? This is trial number one. We tried it first time. This is trial number two, trial number three, trial number four. It's almost like different experiments until we get the right answer. Let's try it here. Eight times a number equals 88. So let's try eight times five. Well, that equals 40. Nowhere near. Let's try eight times 10. That equals 80. We're getting close. We're missing 1 8. We're 1 8 short between 80 and 88. So I'm going to try 8 times 11. And yes, there we go. So 8 times 11 is 88. So z equals 11. OK. Let's look at c. 43 
minus 3 times the number is 16. A lot of moving parts here. Well, let's try and simplify things. 43 minus some number is 16. So, what number do we have to subtract from 43? So, let's do 43 minus 20. Well, that gives us 23. So, that doesn't work. It can't be 20. It's got to be a bigger number. Let's try 43 minus 30. Well, that's going to give us 13. That doesn't work either. It has to be 3 more. So, let's do 43, sorry, rather 3 less. Let's do 43 minus 27 then. 43 minus 27, well, that's going to give us 16. So, there we go. We found out that 3y has to equal to 27. That's our first step. Well, 3 times what number gives us 27? So, 9, 18, 27. So, y has to equal to 9. And we can test that out again by doing 3 times 9, which is 27, and doing 43 minus 27, which will give us 16. And let's finally go to D. Some number, x, divided by 7 is 4. Systematic trial. Well, 7 divided by 7. Let's try 7. Let's try x equals 7. Well, 7 divided by 7 is 1. Um, let's try 21 divided by 7. Well, that equals 3. Well, the next multiple of 7 is 28. So 28 divided by 7, okay, that's going to equal to 4. So x equals 28. And that's questions 3 to 5 for section 10.5.